Hi, it's Danny here from the Whiteboard Blog, and in this video, I want to have a very quick tutorial to show how to use ProWise Presenter to make a magic paper lesson styler for your interactive whiteboard. And you've seen already gone to ProWise.com and logged in and started up Presenter. I won't show that in this video here. We do start Presenter. You have this page, tools along the bottom. So I'm going to start by just drawing a couple of uh, shapes to get myself started. So down here, I've got the rectangle tool. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and I'm just going to hold my left mouse button down I'm going to drag out a square Now I didn't bother to change the colours for this one just now and yellow's not, I want yellow and yellow's not an option anyway so I'm going to then click on this icon here select my shape and then click on the coloured blobs here and that's going to let me change the colours anyway so I can do that so my line colour I want to be black and my fill colour I want to be yellow and I've got my shape there I'm going to take this shape here and I click on it again I'm going to click on that square icon just there I'm going to click on duplicate which gives me an exact copy of my shape so I know it's exactly the same size as the previous one and then I'm just going to click on those blobs again I'm going to fill that shape in with black so now I've got two shapes I've got a yellow shape and a black shape I'm then going to go down to the text tool and the idea behind this is if I type in either maybe a question and an answer um, or a word and it's opposite I want one to be in black and one to be in yellow so then they reveal when they move from one side to the other I'll show you the idea you get you'll see what I mean so let's type in a sum so let's have 3x5 15 I'm going to highlight that top bit of writing so I want that to show and I'm going to make that black I'm probably going to set everything there and choose a larger font as well so let's go up a little bit let's go down to sort of 22 and make that box a bit bigger there we go so if I now move my shape over here you can see I've got the sum when I drag it over here I have the answer okay and I can just do that over and over again so let's just try again let's just have um, 7x4 is 28 and because I've chosen black as the last uh, font color last time I start in black and now I've changed the bottom bit to yellow so I'm going to click on there I'm going to change that to yellow now I could if I want to go down to this icon again click on here and I could duplicate this a few times to save me having to mess about choose the text tool and click I can change the sum so let's make this um, 2x6 and let's select that and make that 12 and let's check this one and we can change this to be um, 4 4 times 5 and we'll make that 20 so I haven't got to play around the colours all the time I can just duplicate back down to the little hand icon the little finger poking there I can move these across and now I've got an activity which I can start um, the lesson off with with some quick mental uh, math activities ask students the answer and then we can drag it across and just see if they've got it correct one little tip as well that you might want to do is if I go back to this icon here, the select icon again, click on here, click on my shape, I can click on the padlock and I can lock that shape in place. I'll do the same thing for the black one as well. And now if I go to the hand, I can move the numbers across, but I can't move the shapes because otherwise um, you might find you accidentally miss the numbers and you drag the box instead. So that's how to do a magic paper activity in ProWise Presenter version 10. I have some more videos about ProWise Presenter coming up very soon. Um, do uh, like and subscribe if you like this one and I'll do some videos for other interactive whiteboard software soon as well. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye bye.